Right, so here we are at Liz's workshop again, and here we have the Norton 650. No. Is it okay? What is it? 600. 600, sorry. Norton Norton Dominator. 600 Dominator 600 that we've seen twice before on my previous visits to the workshop, and it's now pretty much finished. It is finished, yeah. But are we, you were saying there's a bit of annoying, there's a bit of an annoyance there. Look, there's a little drip from, yes. from, from the gearbox. The Kickstarter shaft on the gearbox. Yes, yes. Which is the only thing on the machine that I never renovated. Touched. Yeah. Yeah. And that was because you were assured it was okay. He brought the gearbox to me having it have, having said it was checked by somebody else. Yes. And obviously it wasn't. Or if it was it wasn't checked very well. No, so it yeah. looks like I'll have to pull the cover off and put oh, a new seal in there. Yeah. Apart yeah. from that it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so, you've turned up on what is his dad's 80th birthday. Right, so just and to go back a little bit, this is this is this lad's dad's This is his dad's actual bike. bike. Actual bike. Yeah, you're gonna know. And he's had me restore it for yep. his dad. Yes. And uh, the plan was for his dad to ride it this year. Yes. Um, and then it's his dad's birthday today. Yes. And he did text me a few days ago, oh sorry, a week ago, asking if he could possibly pick it up. Yeah. And I said, not really, not yeah. with the lockdown and yes. everything. Um, so it stayed here well, until uh, he can pick it up. Yeah, because he's actually owned it for what, 50 years or so? Um, I thought he'd owned it from you, yeah. which is 19, it's a 1960 bike, but apparently he bought it when it was about two years old, so right. he's, had it oh, since, well. he's had it 58 years. Yeah, it's looking really well. Yeah. And it's not a car, you've not done absolutely sort of pristine, as new restoration, you've kept a little bit of patina, haven't you? You've, you've kept on, some of the nuts and bolts. On certain items, yeah, yes. Rather than the, trying to replace everything. Certain bits are original. Yes. Um, I've not o gone over the top. No. No. Um, but it's it's 99% I reckon. Yeah, yeah, so it's very great, very nice. Um, but you have actually ridden it, haven't you? You've ridden it. No, I've not ridden it. I've, oh, I've started, started it. You started it. Um, and I was waiting for the nice weather before I could ride it. Yes. But obviously, we're now with now with lockdown. I can't. Can't do that. No, no. Okay. Great stuff. And then next to that bike here, we swing round. Da -da 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 -da. There's another bike we can look at very briefly. Right, so spinning round then, we've got your Supercharged Z1000 Mark II, which we've seen before, which now has a new addition, which I'm going to point to, which is that. Yes. And it says on it, Devil's Own something. Yeah, it's Devil's USA. Own uh, Water Methanol Injection right, a Water Methanol Injection Kit. So I can see there's a pipe from it that leads you to... Yeah, there's an in the injection. It's basically, just in it injects water and methanol into the intake of the, right. the engine. And how's that work? Do you have a button to do that, or is it automatic? Or? No, I've got it wired into the ECU. Yeah. And uh, I need to program the ECU, and that will trigger. That will start it and finish it. At what point? When you sort of when it's, it's really it's hot? It's programmable, so I can use I can use engine revs RPM yeah. to. I can get it to start at a certain RPM and finish right. it at an RPM. Yeah. Or I can use boost. Right. I can, I can actually you can do whatever you boost. want. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's I can uh, change how, how I activate it really. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, and have you actually had it going yet? Have you tried it out? No, I've only just finished wiring in the right. finishing the wiring uh, over right. the last few days. Right. The next thing now is to acquire some water methanol. And yeah, because I see here you've check squeezed that the in. tank isn't leaking where I've yeah, fitted it. You've squeezed in a tank there. Yeah. Um, how big is that? About a pint, is it? Or it's, a litre? Uh, litre no, something? it's two quarts. All right. So okay. it's uh, what's that written of? It's, oh, sorry, it's a quart. So a quart of a gallon. Two pints, is it? Litre, yeah. litre or so. Yeah. yeah, two pints. About a litre. Yeah. Yeah. And you're leading on your long-term project. On the RD. Your RD. Yes. Almost done now. Yeah, I've been That's doing a bit while we've been in lockdown. Yes. I've, I've been doing little bits, bits you can't really see, but no. uh, lots of little bits. Yeah, it's getting there, it's getting there. It is, it's nearly there. Okay. The seat, I've done the bought a pattern seat. Right. And uh, when I got it out of the box, all the glue had come undone from oh, underneath. No. Yeah, it. yeah, it happens, doesn't it? So I had to re glue it all. That was a oh, no. pain, but I've done it. Right. Um, just needs the paintwork done and it's finished now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, been doing lots of little jobs on this. Uh, right. Obviously, lots of little jobs on the supercharged bike. Yeah. And a lot of work on the other bike in the other workshop. Yeah, yeah. Just keeping myself busy, really. Yeah. Okay, with that then, we'll keep our social distance and I'll go home. Yes. And uh, I'll see you again at some point when all this social distance. After the lockdown. After the lockdown. Maybe even a week or two, I think. Something like that. I don't I know. I doubt it. It's probably going to be longer than that. Okay. But we'll hopefully, okay. we'll. Uh... Well, actually, no, I won't because I'll have to come and bring you. 
the crank and the gearbox for this thing. Um, but I'll probably just bring it, leave it on your drive, and then yeah, yeah, we'll, just leave it. We'll be just, knock on the door, yeah, and, and run away, <laughs> run away, and yeah. I'll pick it up. Okay, okay, yeah, we can do right, that. Right, and with that, we'll leave it there, and we'll come back when that engine's looking more like an engine. Yes. Okay. Right, Les. So this is your Yamaha GTS, GTS 1000. thousand that you've had about two years now. Two, yeah, two and a half years. And yeah. it's in bits because you do some sort of servicing. Well, I got the time. I thought I'd service it because yeah. I, I haven't serviced it since I bought it. I've only done an oil change and mm -hmm. water. Yeah. So I yeah. thought. While I've got some time, I'll do a proper yeah. top end service. Right. And didn't you find there was an issue with the rear end the suspension? Yeah, the, there was play in the rear suspension linkage. Right. right. Yeah. Um, and on looking inspecting it, I also found that the damper rod was oily mm -hmm. on the rear shock, so right. it needed a new rear shock. Right. Which I've now got. Right, okay. Uh, but I haven't got the suspension bearings yet. And that's because they're quite expensive, I believe. Well, about two, 275 quid. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. it'll have to wait until I'm earning again. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've done the valve clearances, I've replaced throttle cables, I've put yeah. new air filters in, yeah, yeah. new fuel filter, new fact, plug caps, oh, well, plugs, yeah. all the usual service oh, items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And over so, there you've got your Z or AZL. 1000 eliminator. Another ZL1000. Yeah, like you've got one my like friend that. Kev's, yeah. which is the same as mine. But yeah, and here is uh, the Monster, the Z. Z1300. Yeah. It's a six cylinder bike. That's a rolling restoration I did last year. Yes. The clocks have, have got a damage, so I'm having them repaired right. at the moment. Over there. And uh, then there's another Kawasaki you're leaning on. GPZ900R. Yeah. In Top Gun livery. Oh, yes. Oh, right, okay. Like the film. Yeah, I don't know that well. No. No, no but. Um, that's come to be have some restoration work done and a service. And the, the, guy, the guy left it and didn't leave his keys. Oh, well, <laughs> so oh I can't dear. start it without. Well, to be honest, apart from a bit of perished alloy, it doesn't look that bad. The paint looks nice. It's a very, very tidy bike yeah, and it does nice. run. But obviously, the, the carburetors are known for giving problems on these yeah, when yeah. they wear. And yeah. So uh, I've got to strip the carbs off and, and, and go through the carburetors right. mainly. Okay. So that it can run on this yeah, yeah. new ethanol based fuel. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, probably a more updated battery and bits and pieces just, like just that. Just general servicing. Yeah. yeah, just to make it more reliable so yeah. we can use that's it as nice. an everyday bike. Which, what is it, a B Reg? That's uh, 84. 84. 84, yeah. Yeah, I think this came out in 85. Yeah, 84. 84. Come out in 85? Yeah, it must be an early one then. Yeah. This is an American import, oh, by right, the way. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I'm not sure, without looking at the chassis number, what year it is. Sometimes yeah. the register given isn't right. No, no, no. It's sometimes the date in which it gets imported. You know. Yeah, they do that. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Okay, with that, I'll have to go. Got things to do. And uh, we'll come back another day and. Check out progress on your projects and my engine. Your engine, of course. Oh. Okay, Les, so while we're here then, we're going to hear this Norton start, hopefully, anyway. You oh, said the battery's a bit tired and drained. Well, it's not run for... A long time. Month and a half, maybe two okay. months. Okay, but then again, it's a kickstart bike, so yeah, it should hopefully kick over. Well, as long as the battery hasn't gone flat. Okay, um, well, famous last words, let's try it and see what happens. All right, let's uh, turn the fuel on. Yeah. Right, just pause it here. Sorry? It's gone in. I think the battery's about to run out, so I'll take it off now. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll try it. Alright, we'll try it. Here we go. We'll try it. So, ignition on. Ignition's on. Oh, nearly. I've only got slippers on in here, so. Oh, so be careful. Don't, uh, don't break your blue ankle. No. I need, uh, need to be boots on, I think. Right. Right, here we go. First time kick. Hopefully. Before my battery uh, runs out on my camera. Now I can smell the petrol now. Louder than I expected. That's louder than I thought it would be. Yeah, the flight the flight long these silences. Yeah. It's got a crank case full of oil and it'll pop back to the tank. Yeah, it's getting smoky there, look. Well it's a new engine, it's a fresh engine. 
clear itself in a minute. Yeah. Still valve stem seals on the guides. Really? Well, not on British bikes. Oh well, okay. Yeah, you're starting to disappear now in a cloud of smoke. There we go, that's fine. Oh, something was a... Uh, that's oil in the tank, that. There's oil all coming out here. It's sticking out, it's going out down the um, floor now, look. You've got some oil there. Was it uh, wet sumping? Yes, it's wet sumped. Yeah. All the oil in the tank's drained into the into the uh, crankcase and it's blown it all out the yeah. breather. Yeah, because as you say, it's been standing for however long. Yeah, it's just blown a little bit out. Yeah, it's not too bad. No. No, it's, uh, it needs a good run. Yeah. It's yeah. been stood for a couple of months. Yeah, yeah. Are you still filming? I am, yes. Oh, right, okay. I am. Get all the nasty details. Oh, please, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no, I mean, it's been sat for what? 30 years, you've rebuilt it, it needs... 54 not, years. 54 years, sorry, in, in bits. Yeah. And uh, you've rebuilt it and it's not been run yet, it's not been out for a run yet, so you can expect to have a few I've, issues. I've started the engine about three or four times. Yeah, it started okay then, didn't and it? it? Yeah, considering the battery's probably a bit flat. Yeah. It is 12 volt conversion. Yeah. Um, obviously I've seen to have a little problem with the fuel tap. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just wet sumped, which means all the oil in the tank has gone into the crankcase. Yeah. Do you not have a non-return valve in there that with a little ball bearing? Uh, you can get them, but yeah. this hasn't got oh, one. Oh, just have one, okay. So the oil over time has gone into the crankcase, and when we fired it up, it's it's blown some oil out of the crankcase yeah. breather yeah, onto yeah. the floor. Yeah, yeah. Normally that wouldn't happen. No, it's not too much. Anyway. It's because it's been stuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Yes, I'm happy with it. Yeah. My customer will be happy with it. Yeah, yeah. It's a pity you couldn't get it for his birthday. He's what's it? His birthday. His birthday was the twenty fifth of April. His yeah. dad's birthday. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's yeah. eighty or eighty one. Yeah. And this was his bike. Yes. He's thrown all the oil up. That's why it was smoking. Right. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. And with that, then we'll leave you to clean up your oil, and uh, we'll come back in a few what I don't know weeks time, and we'll go through what's happening with the Z. We will. Okay. Great stuff. So thanks for watching, and cheers.